Hello beautiful people, welcome to my channel. My name is Esther and this is QS Fashion Up. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a, a blouse with turtleneck, a turtleneck blouse, fitted blouse. So I'm going to be drafting the pattern first on the pattern paper then I'll transfer it to my fabric. So I'll be working with the pattern paper, a marker, a ruler, tape proof. So I already draw some lines here but I'm going to explain the lines here so this line is my waistline waistline and this is 16 inches from my shoulder line to this since the blouse length is 25 inches then i added one and a half inches for seam allowance for hemming allowance so here i'm going to go ahead and drag both the front and back pattern together so this is my across back measurement is seven inches plus half inch for seam allowance so so i'm going to go ahead and drag this then my neck width is two and a half inches by one inch for the back depth and two and a half inches for the front depth two and a half inches for the front depth So, so this is me chuck, this is me marking my neck with here. So with my ruler here, I'm going to connect it like so, like so. With my French curve, I'll just go ahead and curve it out like this. You can use your free hand. This is for the front neckline, like this. So. I come down by half an inch from my shoulder slope. And I'm going to connect it to my neckline from this point to my neckline. So this is it. So for my arm hole depth is seven and a half inches. So I come down by seven and a half inches. And I'm going to draw a straight line here. And I'll connect this line to this point like this. So I'm going to look for the midpoint of this seven and a half. That is um three and cut three point seven five inches. So I'm going to connect it like this to this part like this. This is for the back. I'm old, so I'll come in by half an inch and connect the front and old like this. So this is my back front ammo and this is back ammo. So right here I'll come here and take my boss measurement. My boss measurement divided by four is seven and a half inches. Sorry, bus measurement divided by four is nine point twenty five. Now quarter, but I'm going to add half an inch to this. That is nine and nine point seventy five. Yeah, so I'm going to mark my bus measurement here. I'm adding just half an inch seam allowance because the material is a stretch material. If I come to my waistline, my waist is thirty divided by four is seven and a half. Plus half an inch for seam allowance, that's eight inches. So I come to my hip line, the hem of the cloth. My hip is 37 divided by four, that's 9.25 plus half an inch, that is 9.75 inch. So with my ruler, I'm just going to go ahead and connect the line like this. So from here, I'll connect the end line like this. So this is it. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut out my pattern. And by the time I'm done cutting out, I'll cut out the, the back neckline first like this. So I'll cut it out and 
place it on my fabric and cut out. So this is it. So this is me cutting out the front. My pattern. So I'm going to go ahead and place it on my fabric and cut out just like this. Once I'm done cutting now for the back, I'll go ahead and trim off this front armhole and the front neckline. And I'll cut it out and come and show you the next thing. So this is my sleeve. My sleeve length is 23 inches, but I'm adding one and a half inches for aiming allowance and to join it to the top. So here is the length. So I come here and I measure my arm sleeve divided by two. That's 20. Sorry, that's seven inches but half an inch. That's seven and a half. This is it here. So I will look for the midpoint of this. That is three and 3.75 so here I'll come down by three and a half inches so from here I'll go ahead and connect the lines like this so this is it so I'll go ahead and measure what I have this is nice my round sleeve my wrist is four inches plus half inch that's four and a half inches so I'll go ahead and connect to this but okay. my just connect it and I'll cut it out. So I want to place this place it on here. So these are the fabric. I already cut out my front. This is the front and the back. And this is a two sleeve so guys there's something i want to say why you are cut when you are cutting your fabric remember it's a stretchy fabric don't cut against the stretch cut towards the stretch like let it be this this part is stretching this part is not stretchy so cut towards the stretch like this then your sleeve remember to cut on fold look at what i'm saying so we're going to move to the sewing of this top the first thing I'm going to do is to align both front and back, right side facing right side, like this. So I'm going to take it to my sewing machine and join the length, the shoulder by half an inch, half an inch. Then I'm going to sew the, the side with the same allowance as this. So when I'm done doing that, I'll come back and show you the next thing to do. So guys, I've gone ahead to join the sleeve the shoulder and also aim the bottom of the cloth. So it's, we are left with the neckline. So what you do is to fold it into two like this and measure what you have here. Like I have 7.5 inches here. This is it. This is, that is 15 inches all together. So now I folded my fabric into two. Remember to cut to the side of the stretch so this the length is eight inches then 15 inches divided by two is 7.5 inches this is it. then i now add a half an inch allowance to it that i'll use to join it this way so what i'm going to do is that i'll take it to my sewing machine and stitch it together by half an inch like this this side like this once i'm done stitching it this way so I'm going to turn it inside out like this, like this, into two, like this. Hope you can see what I'm doing. Like this. So I will attach it to my neckline. Like this. I'll pin it to my neckline like this. Right side facing right side. And I'm going to sew it all the way around. Round my neckline. Like this. So I'll sew it round, round and round so i'll come back and show you the final look i also overlock the rough edges to make the work very nice okay guys this is the final look of our top our tussle neck top it's looking so beautiful and lovely you can decide to fold it fold the neck like this 
or you can also decide to leave it like this so guys if this tutorial has been helpful to you go ahead and subscribe to this channel hit the notification bell so you get notified whenever we upload new videos my name is esther and this is qs fashion of don't stop learning keep learning bye, -bye.